the application of statistical package for the social sciences into data analysis to identify and evaluate the risk factors influencing to the implementation of the renovation and improvement National Highway 53, Travin A Long Tone Section, Travin Province, Vietnam. Abstract A This article applies a descriptive statistical analysis method through the statistical package for the social sciences, SPSS, software based on the results of survey ORSA opinion through a questionnaire with the five-level Likert scale of respondents to check the level of risks affecting the implementation of the renovation and improvement National Highway 53, Travin A Long Tone Section, Travin Province Project in Vietnam. The research results show that the capacity of the stakeholder including, contractors, sponsors, and PMUs, and the price slippage are the risk factors that most affect the investment process. So the authors make recommendations to the sponsors to develop a plan, study well the issues related to the capacity of contractor, sponsors, and PMUs as well as the selection of contractors, promptly respond to macroeconomic fluctuations and instability that cause an increase in fuel and material price indexes. Sponsors, PMUs need to improve their management capacity, honesty, and objectivity in project management, especially the selection of contractors so that their real capacity is appropriates their performance in the bids in order to minimize risk factors affecting the project investment implementation. Keywords, Risk Management Descriptive Statistical Analysis, SPSS, Project Management Unit Introduction Risks are situations that occur randomly, unforeseen when practical activities cause negative impacts on objects, subjects, things, or phenomena, leaving reversible consequences but paying costly or irreversible such as fatal accidents. Construction risks are the risks occurring in the process of work construction investment from the stage of investment preparation, investment execution, and investment completion. Risks in construction activities include all the one of delaying progress, low quality of the works, the construction costs. Rising above the total investment, traffic accidents, labor accidents, and others. Risk management in construction investment activities is a set of processes, orders, procedures, methods and solutions that are mandatory conditions that participants must comply to avoid risks, treatment risks in best effectiveness. In fact, the process of investing in the construction of works, especially transport works construction, always has potential risk factors causing unpredictable consequences such as, in serious situation, it will be deadly. For example, in the Kendo Bridge construction project, Due to lack of geographic research, the scaffoldings collapsed suddenly while concreting the bridge deck, killing many people, poor quality of the work, for the highway of Da Nang A Quang Gai section project, the work have just completed for one month but started damaging, leading to prosecution of the accused as well as the projects. If it is mild, it will make progress slowly, exceed the total cost. This risk level is common. To overcome this situation, we need to correctly identify the risk factors and properly assess the level of risk for each factor in order to develop a response plan to minimize the risk in construction investment activity. To determine the cause of a risk, first of all, we must identify the factors that cause risks in traffic construction investment activities, including R1, group of risk factors related to project characteristics such as natural topographic characteristics and project characteristics, long survey time, prolonged bidding time, inaccurate survey. Because it is a road traffic project, stretching along as route, through many different geological regions, topographical and geological surveys require the true reflection of the nature, representing each area to meet the task requirements. New approved survey has suitable design solution. Do not accept the value of interpolation and prediction survey. Therefore, the survey time is longer than construction works with more concentrated scope. Due to the very large volume of the transport industry, divided into many bidding packages, the bidding packages cannot be completed at the same time from design to verification, evaluation, and approval. So, when completing designing approval any package, the investor will auction that package. This stage should last a long time. 
If these causes occur, consequences are serious such as, poor construction quality, death, delayed progress, exceeding the cost total. If the survey is inaccurate, it must be adjusted and supplemented. R2, group of risk factors related to the capacity of stakeholders such as, the design and estimate unit, investor, PMU, the verification unit. If the capacities of these subjects fail to meet the requirements, it will endanger the work as quality, death, wrong order, procedures, delay, and total investment. R3, group of risk factors specific to traffic works, difficulty in site clearance, work stretching in wide area, causing difficulties in management and construction organization, the coordination between consultancy units. Road traffic works require construction ground with a large and prolonged occupation area, so site clearance is time-consuming, difficult and complicated, construction management needs to be scientific to promote construction efficiency, to avoid loss of properties and materials, the coordination between consulting units, especially supervision consultants, verification consultants, design consultants, regularly and continuously. Failure to perform these factors will cause delay, exceeding the total investment, prolonged complaints, and unsatisfactory quality of the work. R4, group of risk factors involved in the design process, changing design drawings, time for designing and estimating, time for designed and estimated verifying. These factors cause the risk of delayed progress, Unsatisfactory design quality require additional adjustments which makes construction costs increase. R5, group of risk factors related to economics and legal policy, financial resources of the investor, domestic financial market, regular legal policy changes, the guiding documents are not specific. This is a group of objective factors that happen with a very low frequency. However, if it standard for plane section, the design speed is 80 km per hour according to TCVN 4054 to 2005 with the following parameters, cross section BN slash BM equals 12M slash 11M, high grade asphalt concrete pavement A1, only for high grade plastic straightening and smoothing sections A2, modulus equal 140 MPA. The bridge section consists of five repaired bridges, two renewed bridges, of which Bangda, Fukhao, Tra Kuang 1, Tra Kuang 2 and Olak bridges proceed to dismantle balustrades and different A-level sidewalks to expand the vehicle lane up to 9M, turning into 10M for total of bridge width, NHI Treng and Lota bridge has been newly built with a bridge width of 12M, with vehicle lane BMC equals 11M, the barrier and handrail lane BGC equals 2A 0.5M equals 1.0M. The bridge is built permanently of reinforced concrete and pre-stressed reinforced concrete. Surveying the current situation, determining the risk factors, TH risk factors affecting the implementation of the renovation and improvement NH.53, Travin A Long Tone Section, Travin Province Project from Experts Opinions. Analysis and ranking of the found risks and model construction aims to further study the nature of risk factors in construction investment, to improve project management qualifications, to understand more of the viewpoint of experts on risk factors in transport construction investment, to practice proficiently in SPSS software to apply in work. Researching Method Introduction to Research Method Apply descriptive statistical methods to statistic and analyze opinions of experts working in relevant agencies and units on the risk factors affecting the renovation and improvement NH.53, Travin A Long Tone Section, Travin Province Project. This method uses SPSS software to perform frequency statistics and description. The research steps are shown in Figure 1. Research implementation process. Happens, it will have a great impact on the success of the project. The project may have to delay, postpone, or bankrupt, for example, in 2011, to stabilize the macro economy the government. Issued Resolution No. 11-2011-NQCP on reducing equitable investment by suspending and rescheduling a series of projects. Considering the current economic context, 
this group of factors does not affect the renovation and improvement NH.53, Travin A Long Tone Section, Travin Province Project due to the identified and arranged capital as well as the project has deployed 70% of the volume. R6, the group of risk factors is related to the price slippage factors that cause excess investment, the price of fuel. Research Method Survey Questionnaire Data Collecting Research Tools Conclusions and Recommendation Materials, Labor, and Machine Increase This group of factors occurs often, most of the projects are affected by the group of price slippage factors due to the increase of the material price index causing the increase in construction costs. The project to renovate and upgrade NH.53, Travin A Long Tone Section, Travin Province with a total length of 43,800 km, was invested and built in the areas of Chautan, Ka and Gang, and Du Yenhai districts, Travin Province. The project road is designed according to the three-level road design. Test the model. Kronbika S Alpha S test of scales. Test the reliability of the scale Kronbika S Alpha is to test the reliability scale of an observed variable set that can also be measured, showing the properties of the apparent factora. This tool will help to check whether the observed variables of the apparent factora, factor A, are reliable or not. This test reflects the degree of close correlation between observed variables in the same factor. It shows the observed variables in the same factor, which variables contributed to the measurement of the concept of factors, which variables did not. Factors that need to be verified include, 1, group of risk factors related to project characteristics, CHA, 2, group of risk factors related to the capacity of stakeholders, CAP. Risk factors are specific to the traffic construction industry, SPE, 4, group of risk factors related to the design process, day, 5, group of risk factors related to economics and legal policy, PAL, 6, group of risk factors related to cost increasing, INC. Factors with total variable correlation coefficients of greater than 0.3 should not be excluded, Nunali and Bernstein 1994, Cited by Nguyen Dintho and Nguyen Thi Mai Trang, 2009. Therefore, all of these four research variables on the reliability scale. Kronbika S alpha will be further analyzed in other contents. Descriptive statistics. Descriptive statistics by group of factors. Asterisk group of risk factors related to project characteristics The average value of the observed variables from CHA1 to CHA4 in the group of risk factors related to the project S characteristics are in the range from 2.5 to less than 4 on the 5-point Likert scale. Thus, more than half of the respondents who responded to the survey agreed with the criteria in the group of risk factors related to the project S characteristics. Average values of CHA1 to CHA4 are not much different and are in the range from 2.5 to 3.5 on a 5-point scale. This shows that these risk factors have impacts on the implementation of the renovation and improvement NH.53, Travin A Long Tone Section, Travin Province Project. However, just above average. The average value of observed variables from CAP1 to CAP3 in the group of risk factors related to the capacity of stakeholders are in the range from 4.42 to 4.47 on the 5-point Likert scale. Thus, most of the survey responses agreed with the criteria of stakeholder capacity significantly affecting the implementation of the renovation and improvement NH.53, Travin A Long Tone Section, Travin Province Project. The average values of CAP1 to CAP3 are not much different from each other and are in the range from 4.4 on a 5-point scale. This suggests that these risk factors have approximately the same degree of impact. The average value of the observed variables from 1 to SPE5 in the group of risk factors related to the specifics of the traffic construction industry ranged from 2.30 to 4.02 on the 5-point Likert scale. Thus, about half of the survey responses agree with the criteria specific to the transport construction industry affecting the implementation of the renovation and improvement NH.53, Travin A Long Tone Section, Travin Province Project. 
The average value of SPE1 to SPE5 is not much different and lies in the range from 2.3 to 4.02 on a 5-point scale. This suggests that these risk factors have varying degrees of impact. Average value of observed variables from DES1 to DES3 in the group of risk factors related to the design process is from 2.05 to 2.15 on the 5-point Likert scale. Thus, less than half of the respondents who answered the survey agreed with the criteria in the group of risk factors related to design. The average values of DES1 to DES3 are not much different and are in the range from 2.05 to 2.15 on a 5-point scale. This shows that these risk factors have impacts on the implementation of the renovation and improvement NH.53, Travin A Long Tone Section, Travin Province Project. However, just below average. Group of risk factors related to economics and legal policy average values of observed variables from POL1 to POL5 in the group of risk factors related to economics and legal policy ranged from 2.96 to 4.17 on the 5-point Likert scale. Thus, most of the respondents who answered the survey agree with the criteria in the group of risk factors related to economics and legal policies. The average values of POL1 to POL4 are not much different and are in the range from 3.24 to 4.17, while POL5 has a value of 2.96 slightly lower than other factors on the 5-point scale. This shows that these risk factors have a relatively large impact on the renovation and improvement NH.53, Travin A Long Tone Section, Travin Province Project. Average values of observed variables from INC1 to INC4 in the group of risk factors related to slippage are in the range from 3.84 to 4.47 on the 5-point Likert scale. Thus, most of the survey responses agreed with the criteria of stakeholder capacity significantly affecting the implementation of the renovation and improvement NH.53, Travin A. Longtone. Four Conclusions and Recommendations in the current stable economic conditions, although affected by the COVID-19 translation, most of the survey responses agree with the criteria of the group of risk factors. Risks affecting the implementation of renovation and improvement NH.53, Travin A Long Tone Section, Travin Province Project are as follows. The factor of NL3 in construction contractor S capacity and TG1A fuel price slippage, due to COVID-19 epidemic affecting world oil prices, has the highest average value of. This shows that most of the responses agree that given the fully equitized state-owned transport construction state-owned enterprises, the capacity of privately owned joint stock companies is no longer available. Keep the capacity, experience, and tradition of operation, construction management in association with professional ethics as before. Hence, it caused a decrease in confidence among industry experts. This survey results reflect the concerns of industry experts about the contractor S capacity to have a great impact on the risks in project construction investment. Regarding the factor that INC1 is fuel price slippage, many experts worry that the COVID-19 pandemic could cause fluctuations in gasoline prices to the point where it is difficult to control so the majority of respondents agree that this is a risk factor that greatly affects most to the project implementation process. Next, the observed variable CAP2, Investora S capacity and PMU average value of 4.42 also significantly affect the project investment implementation process. The time of design and cost estimation by the factor of DES2, Time for design verification and estimate is equal to the average value of DES3 and by 2.05 as the lowest value in the description table. This shows that, in the context of the current design and verification consulting capacity, the references that these two factors also affect the level of risk in project implementation but at the below average, not insignificant. With the above results, making recommendations to the investor to develop a plan, study well the issues related to the capacity of the contractor, the capacity of the investor and the PMU in the selection of contractors, promptly respond to macroeconomic fluctuations and instability that cause an increase in fuel and material price indexes. The solution is that the investor, 
the PMU needs to improve their management capacity, honesty, and objectivity in project management, especially the selection of contractors so that their capacity is really suitable. Evaluation capacity according to the bidding documents in order to minimize the risk factors affecting the investment implementation of renovation and improvement NH.53, Trabin A Long Tone Section, Trabin Province. Regarding the factor of fuel price slippage, it is recommended that the investor need to reserve a budget to compensate for the contractor to avoid exceeding the total investment in case the world oil price fluctuates strongly due to the COVID pandemic A19. In addition, it is necessary to carefully consider other factors that have a relatively large impact on the risk level of the project in order to have appropriate response measures.